good morning everyone in today's session we will be discussing a problem based on wave equation the question is a string is stretched and fastened to two points l distance apart motion is started by displacing the string in the form y equal to a sin pi x by l from which it is released at time t equal to 0 show that the displacement of any point at a distance x from one end at time t given by y of x comma t equal to sin pi x by l cos pi c t by l. Now we know that vibration of a stress string will satisfy wave equation which is given by dou square y by dou t square equal to c square dou square y by dou x square. Since the endpoints are fixed, we have the condition y of 0 comma t equal to 0 that is displacement at the initial point is equal to 0 for all time and y of l comma t that is when x equal to l that is the end point will be also equal to 0 for any time t. The string is released from rest so we have initial velocity which is given by dou y by dou t at time t equal to 0 is also equal to 0. And the last condition is y of x comma 0. That means at time t equal to 0 displacement at any point x is equal to a sin pi x by l which is given in the equation. Now we know that wave equation has three solutions but we are taking one suitable solution where it, we are getting a periodic function both in terms of x and in terms of t. So we are taking the solution of wave equation as y of x comma t equal to c1 cos px plus c2 sin px into c3 cos cpt plus c4 sin cpt. Now applying the first condition that is y of 0 comma t equal to 0 we have when you substitute x equal to 0 in y of x comma t we will get c1 c1 cos 0 will be 1 c2 sin 0 will be 0 so you are left with c1 into c3 cos cpt plus c4 sin cpt and it is given to be equal to 0 from the initial condition. Here we will take c1 equal to 0 because when you take c3 cos cpt plus c4 sin cpt equal to 0 we will get y of x comma t that is displacement is equal to 0 for all time t and for all point x that is not possible that's why we are taking c1 equal to 0. Hence, our solution changes to y of x comma t equal to c2 sin px into c3 cos cpt plus c4 sin cpt because we are getting c1 equal to 0. Now, using the third condition that is initial velocity equal to 0, we are calculating derivative with respect to t at time t equal to 0, we will get c2 sin px minus c3 cp sin cpt that is derivative of c3 cos cpt plus c4 cp cos cpt that is derivative of c4 sin cpt. Now at time t equal to 0 we will get c2 sin px sin cpt at time t equal to 0 will be 0 c4 cp cos cpt at time t equal to 0 cos cpt will be equal to 1 and we are left with c2 c4 cp times sin px. Again c2 cannot be equal to 0 because if c2 equal to 0 the entire function y of x comma t will be equal to 0. cp cannot be equal to 0 and sin px cannot be equal to 0 for all x that's why we are taking c4 equal to 0. 
so our solution change to y of x comma t equal to c2 c3 sin px into cos e p t now using the second condition that is at x equal to l y of l comma t equal to c2 c3 sin pl into cos c p t and it is given to be equal to zero because both our endpoints are fixed so at x equal to l the displacement is equal to zero for all time t now again c2 cannot be equal to zero c3 cannot be equal to zero cos c p t cannot be equal to zero for all time t hence the only possibility is sin p l equal to zero So we will get P L equal to N pi where N equal to 1, 2, 3 etc. And hence P equal to N pi by N. Hence our solution change to Y of X comma T equal to C2 C3 sin N pi X by L cos n by c t by l. Now applying the last condition that is initial displacement is given to be equal to a sin phi x by l. So we have y of x comma 0 that is displacement at time t equal to 0. When you substitute t equal to 0 in y of x comma t you will get c2 c3 sin n by x by l and cos n by c t by L will be equal to 1 and it is equal to A sin phi x by L by comparing the terms we will get C2 C3 equal to A and N equal to 1 we will get C2 C3 equal to A and N equal to 1 hence the solution will be y of x comma t equal to A sin phi x by L cos pi ct by l thank you